Let's talk Tanya for the 19th of Elul of a leap year. Today we begin a new chapter, a new letter, chapter 16 in Negeris HaKodesh. And as we've discussed in the past, many of these letters were written by the Alter Rebbe as fundraisers because the Alter Rebbe took it upon himself to support several hundred Hasidic families who lived in Israel and were under very dire financial circumstances. And every single year, the Alter Rebbe would send out a letter asking for the Hasidim to donate money towards this cause. Now, I, it kind of goes without saying that the Chassidim, the vast majority of the Chassidim in Eastern Europe, also were not very wealthy themselves. At the same time, um, their economic plight wasn't nearly as bad as the Chassidim who were in Israel, and therefore they were able to come up with some money. In this letter that we're going to be learning today, it's actually a letter addressed to a specific community. We don't know which community it was, but there was a community that was particularly hard hit. Um, and facing very, very challenging economic times. And because of that, that community, either they stopped giving money towards the fund for the Chassidim and Eretz or at the very least, they started giving less money. And this is a letter the Alter Rebbe addresses to them. And the first thing the Alter Rebbe does in this letter is the Alter Rebbe commiserates with them and says, I understand. I understand you're going through very difficult times. The words the Alter Rebbe says is, I understand that you guys, you, know, you have no, uh, nothing to, to rely on. You have no support, no physical support. And his words are, Umamish lovim vo'ichlim Hashem yirachem aleihem. You guys are literally, you're borrowing in order to be able to feed your families. May God have mercy upon you. And nevertheless, the Alter Rebbe says, it's not good. You're not doing something which is proper or good that you are not giving or giving less to the poor of Israel than you used to give. And Alter Rebbe is encouraging them to keep up with their commitment and somehow or other to come up with the money necessary to support the Chassidim in Israel. Now the obvious question is, if we look in Halacha, there's a rule, Chayecha Koidman, which means that your life takes precedence over everyone else and you have to take care of yourself first. So aren't the Chassidim in that city, aren't they um, entitled to say, yeah, we'd love to give charity, but we need to take care of ourselves first, ourselves and our families. So Alter Rebbe says, that that's a misunderstanding of the halacha. The basis of the halacha of Chayacha Koidman is a somewhat famous statement of our sages, and it talks about you have two people who are going in a desert together, and there's only one can one of them has a canteen of water, and in there is only enough water for one of them to survive. And the question is, should that person share the canteen? Should the person uh, perhaps give the water to the other person? The answer is no. Chayacha Koidman, you have to take care of yourself. Um, you have to save your own life first. But that example is very telling because there it's talking about there is literally only enough sustenance for one person to survive but what about an instance where one person has enough for basic survival and then the question is i want a little more than that i want to have more than the basics i want to have a little more than bread and water i also want to be able to have uh, some chicken and some meat once in a while i want to be able to have a couch I want to be able to have a car. And then there's another person who does not have enough for basic survival. What is the halacha then? The Alter Rebbe says, then the halacha is the other person's basic needs take precedence over your, what we call luxuries. Maybe they're not the luxuries in the simple sense of the word, but they're luxuries in the sense that they're not basic necessities. The Alter Rebbe brings a proof from this from the Talmud, where the Talmud talks about if there's a river in a city, and uh, the city needs it for their drinking water. And there's another city. Uh, nearby that also has nothing what to drink. So does the city number one have to share that water of that river, which the river belongs to them, with the members of the other city? And the answer is, well, if there's enough to share, then obviously they have to share. But if this river can only supply water for one city, then that city takes first. But then the Gemara says over there, what about if city number one needs the water for drinking, but also for their laundry, to do their laundry? And city number two needs the water to drink. So if city number one uses the water both for drinking and for laundry, there won't be enough for city number two to drink. And then the halacha is, no, city number one has to go with dirty clothing. City number two gets to drink from the water also. So we see from this that the rule of chayach ha your life comes first, is only when you don't have basic, basic necessities. And the Rebbe is turning to Chassidim and saying, yes, I know you guys are poor, but you have your very basic necessities. And the people in Israel do not. And therefore, halachically speaking, this isn't even about being a tzaddik, this isn't even being going extra and beyond the, beyond the letter of the law, but rather halachically speaking, you still have to continue on giving that tzedakah which you've given in the previous years. This is the letter of the law. What does it mean to go beyond the letter of the law? That the Alter Rebbe will discuss in tomorrow's Tanya.